Photopia Director gives you the ability to cut your image into slices. Simply select your layer in the layer list and click on the slice icon. The slicing effect itself appears as a subset of your original image. If you click on the slicing effect in the layer list, it will reveal a new slicing tab in the options panel. From here, you can change the number of horizontal and vertical slices, as well as the shape. There are only four shape options through the slicing effect, rectangles, triangles, hexagons, and puzzle pieces. Beneath this, you have a drop-down option for animation timing. This is used with any keyframed animations you've created for all of the slices as a single group. In the Animations tab, you can click on the right drop-down menu to select the slices as a single group, or even individual slices if you want to animate them independently. You can also see the individual slice list by clicking on this icon in the Layers tab. Click on this X to go back to the layer list. To utilize the Animation Timing in the Slices tab, simply animate the slices as a single group. In this case, we'll zoom them from 0% to 100% using only two keyframes across the entire slide time. Without changing the animation timing, it will look like this. However, if we go back to the Slicing tab and change the order to random, and make the end offset just a few seconds before the slide actually ends, the pieces will zoom from 0 to 100 at random, finishing with a couple of seconds at the end to give our viewer time to see the image as a whole. If you want one slice to start its animation before the previous one has ended, change the overlap setting. This number is based on a percentage of the overlap time, so in this case, I've set the overlap to 20%, which means the next slice will start its animation when the previous slice is only 20% into its animation. One notable difference between adjustments that you can make for slices as a whole group versus individual slices is that outlines and shadows can only be applied and animated to the slices as a group, but not as individual slices. If you plan to dive into animating individual slices, which can get complicated, the Keyframes tab is the place to be. Here you can see all of your slices' individual keyframes as they relate to one another. You can also rename your slices if you find that helpful to organize them better, and you can also change their layer order. If you plan to have some slices fly over another slice, for example, it would need to be higher in the layer order. This keyframe timeline works the same as other keyframe timelines as far as adding keyframes, copying settings to neighboring keyframes, and setting an exact time for a keyframe. One advantage that this multi-layer keyframe timeline has is the ability to click and drag to select multiple keyframes on multiple layers and move them as a group.